Hello, I'm Kirsty College from Strassen Company, Cape Town, and I'd like to highlight two lots on our forthcoming auction on the 11th and 12th of October. The first is this lot, 213, and it's the sketches for sculpture uh, for return. They are three in the lot, and they were produced circa 2008. They are Indian ink, colored pencil uh, on found book pages. The second is this fantastic bronze sculpture entitled Sculpture for Return, Comendatore Nasso. Working experimentally from drawings in his studio, Kentridge, together with sculptor Gerard Marx, devise a series of seemingly abstract sculptures that when rotated on a base and viewed from a particular angle, coalesce into a sculptural form, achieving formal legibility and figural coherence. This sculpture forms part of a body of work that was designed to feature in a film that would be shown on the fire screen at La Fenice Opera House in Venice. The idea for the project was a response to the absurdity of producing a film piece that would be viewed casually as people came into the opera house and found their seats, amidst the discord of the orchestra tuning their instruments, and then finally be switched off once the orchestra came together and the opera begins. So the chaos of the project is mirrored by the piece being about chaos, fragmentation and reconnection. It's the opposite of entropy. It's things gathering into forms rather than disintegrating from forms. This three-dimensional object, when viewed from a particular position, loses its three-dimensionality and becomes a two-dimensional flat image. It's essentially the opposite of Renaissance painting, where you have a flat image trying to look three-dimensional. The subject of the work refers to Nikolai Gogol's story, The Nose, from 1836. The plot concerns a Russian official, Kovalyov, whose nose leaves his face and develops a life of its own, even achieving a higher social rank. The coherent image, nested in the rotating sculpture, refers to key scenes in the opera of Kovalyov's human-sized nose strutting around St. Petersburg.